A police spokeswoman said several items of police equipment were stolen during the incident, including the stored gun. Unmarked car and gun stolen from an off-duty police officer. See, here's the thing. If he's off-duty here in Australia, they're required to, to return their service weapons as far as I'm aware. I have no idea how the hell this would have even happened. Police are searching for a gun stolen from an unmarked police car during an aggravated burglary at a home of an off-duty officer in Melbourne's southeast suburbs. The vehicle was stolen from the property at 5.30am on Tuesday and found dumped several suburbs away five hours later. Images of a gloved hand holding a loaded magazine next to the gun were circulated on encrypted chats used by organized crime figures following the theft. So was this a targeted thing or some smart ass that was part of an organized crime ring that decided, hey, we know this guy's a cop. We're, we know this as an undercover marked car. We're going to steal it and see what else, what other goodies are in the car. Doesn't return his firearm when he should have, but now lost the gun, was supposed to take back. Convenient. Yeah, a little bit. That's what I'm thinking. Uh, the age is unable to verify for the images of the stolen firearm from police. Well, I mean, have they included the? Presumably, they yeah. Well, I mean, they're not they're not going to be stupid enough to include a uh, include the serial number. An underworld source speaking on the condition of anonymity said the firearm was being offered for sale on the black market for thirty thousand dollars. The price of illicit guns has ballooned as they become harder to find as a result of enforcement of firearm provision orders. Prohibition orders. Yes, uh, the news just did a nice little piece on all of the weapons that have been confiscated at the border. I think that maybe they're concerned about the level of firearms that are being actually, like, are actually coming into the shores. Because generally what I find is that when there are issues with things coming in, they do puff pieces. They do segments. They put them on the news in uh, on either 7, 9, whatever else. They will do a certain rerun of border security, whatever else, to basically say, we are catching these people, and here's a massive haul. And it's generally when they're looking to, um, like, it's generally when they're looking to reinforce to the community that they're doing their job and their salaries are justified, in my opinion. But um, anyway. A police spokeswoman said several items of police equipment were stolen during the incident, including the stored gun. This firearm is yet to be re recovered, and a significant investigation is underway to try and locate it, she said. The thieves also stole a number of other items from the home. No one was physically injured during the incident. Okay. Was the guy home, or has he literally left his service weapon in a car and left the house? The exact circumstances surrounding the aggravated burglary are still being determined, and police urge anyone with information to contact Crime Stoppers. However, investigators do not believe the off-duty officer was specifically targeted by the burglars. And that's the end of the thing. Okay, so this, ra this raises a number of questions for me. I mean, they, they're saying that they don't believe that he was specifically targeted. But how the hell would they have known that those items were in the car otherwise? I mean, either some got, someone from an organized crime ring just happened to make the hit of the month. I'm not going to say, like, you know, or they knew. They knew full, full well what was in that car, and they knew who to, uh, they knew which house to rob, they knew which house was had information or whatever else in it. Um, when are they looking to be real? When they are looking to be reelected? Well, see, that's just it, Coke Fury. We don't elect ours. That's what I'm saying. Ours are on the job people that could be hired or fired by everyone else. It's not. So our director of public prosecution is a job that gets, um, they go through the interview process like anybody else. We don't believe in things being political like that because it just causes problems. Gravely. <clears throat> oh, look, I um, completely missed the actual uh, cough there. I mean, I it's going to be interesting as soon as any sort of like crime is able to be tied to that weapon. Does the cop have, cop have crypto? Look, possibly, quite possibly, but we're not allowed to cast aspersions on that. We're not allowed to use that as any sort of issue because anybody is allowed to own crypto, obviously. And I have no issues with that whatsoever. Um, I just think it's interesting that they're saying that it specifically was an organized crime ring that have committed this robbery. And it's not just that the, it's not just that the car was stolen. They broke into the house and took other items. 
And again, they haven't specified whether or not people were home. It says aggravated burglary. That makes it sound like somebody was. So either this officer has left his weapon in his car out the front of his house, unattended and left the property and say it was his girlfriend or wife or anybody else that was in the house that's been present for the aggravated burglary. Or this guy was home at the time, still had his gun in the car, which I'm sorry, it's still stupid. Um, but he's been rolled by whoever broke into the house. So, <laughs> organized crime ring equals the government. Maybe, just maybe.